the uh, uh, TC Lab Group and Booth, and we're talking about the new version 6. Um, uh, what are the new features of version 6? Well, version 6 continues on with uh, a 10-year history of, of Lake. The, the new version brings integration of two measurement platforms, uh, the first one being Smart version 7, and the second one being Live Capture from, from a company called Wave Capture out of Sweden. Um, there's been another couple of updates. Uh, most significantly, it was to keep up with Windows 7, um, you know, keeping up with t taking a 10-year-old platform and staying current with computer technology stuff takes a lot of efforts. Um, on top of that, for some of the, our tour clients, um, we have some very, very advanced monitoring uh, in our amplifiers. And sometimes our clients don't actually want that monitoring, so we can, we can bypass the monitoring as well. And there's a couple other little tweaks, but performance-wise, that's that's um, just some performance updates and the two measurement updates as well. The Lake and the Smart is something that you see in in, in the U.S. anyway. Uh, for instance, every Clear Tour sure. has has two computers, one for each system. That's correct. So that's going to uh, save Clear Brothers the cost of uh, one entire computer, isn't it? That's correct. Well, actually, recently at, at South by Southwest, I mean, going to over a hundred different front house positions, typically we saw two computers. One was running Lake or an equivalent or, or other competing DSP product, and the other one had Smart. I mean, there was one show that had seven different versions of Smart running on every every console and stuff, whether you're a monitor engineer, so if you got three monitor consoles, you got three versions of Smart running. Um, with the new version, you can eliminate a couple of consoles at front of house. Obviously, real estate becomes very, very expensive, so we want to start you know, combining everything into one platform. Um. One final question that I get all the time, and so that means you must get it every day. Uh, are there plans for it to run on an iPad? Well, last year, actually, we, we did release a white paper that documents how to reliably control our devices with an iPad. There's a couple of little tweaks. There's actually a uh, command line option that you can customize the software that does run on an iPad. Uh, it does work. There's several guys out there. It's it's not it's not a dozen. It's more like four or five dozen people that are using an iPad daily, and it works just fine for what they need. It, it's not as if you have a Lake app, because um, keep in mind it's a ten-year-old platform. So how do you take a ten-year-old platform and then convert it to something that literally only existed a couple of years ago? Don't forget, I mean, iPads only been out for two and a half, maybe three years. So. The, the better way to work around that was actually with a VNC application. And with the VNC application, you actually have a little bit more functionality than if we actually wrote our own iPad application because you've got obviously different devices and stuff. Uh, another common trend besides having Lake and Smart would be something like Lake and maybe a DMB rig or an L Acoustics rig, where they still have their own proprietary control software, but they still need our EQ, our messy EQ, they need smart integrated with the EQ so they can measure, analyze, and control. Um, with the VNC application, you can do that, whereas if we wrote a iPad application, it would be a little bit limiting. Um, you know, the, the Apple platform in general, from a tour standpoint, is, has been very, very successful. So we're, we're very proud and happy to support that as much as possible. And we'll, we'll continue to do a better job of that in the future. Well, that's great. That's great. So at uh, touring shows uh, all over uh, the U.S. this summer, we'll be looking for uh, integration of, yeah. of the two platforms onto one computer. That's very exciting. Absolutely. Yeah, the, the things that you'll be seeing would be uh, products like the, the LM44 with Smart7 integration and continued use of, of Dante as well. All right. Thank you, Josh. Thank you very much. That's really interesting. Appreciate it.